No Man's Sky is a space exploration game that gives you the power to explore an endless amount of planets. Actually, it's not endless, because the number of planets that you can explore is 18. Quintillion. Yep, that number is correct. No Man's Sky has by far the biggest game universe in history. It is so big that there is no chance that you will ever be able to visit every single planet. If you were to explore each planet for one second, it would take you 584 billion years. By the time you could accomplish that feat, the 47 closest galaxies in our universe, including Andromeda and Triangulum galaxies, will fuse into one super galaxy. Unfortunately, the Earth will be long gone by then, because 584 billion years is 42 times longer than the current age of our universe, and our Sun will have been burned out for about 576 billion years. If all of the 7 billion people on this planet were to discover 250 planets per minute, it would still take 20 years to fully explore this game's universe. Let's do some math here. There are 18 quintillion planets in this game, and there are 1 septillion estimated planets in the universe. So this game is theoretically 0.0018% the size of the actual observable universe. Meaning that this game is roughly the same size as the distance to the Andromeda galaxy, and probably much bigger than that. If you were to drive your car at highway speeds from one end of the game to the other, it would take you 25 trillion years. Unfortunately, by the time you reach your destination, there wouldn't be much to see, because the universe will be so old that stars will have stopped forming. Luckily, this game gives you a spaceship that has a warp drive, so you can zoom through the universe when needed, and you won't be stuck driving across the universe in your Honda Civic. But you can't travel anywhere you want, anytime you want. You need fuel for your spacecraft. To send a rocket into space, you typically need about 1.2 million kilograms of rocket fuel about the same mass as the largest tree in the world called General Sherman. So you would likely have to find and refine 1.2 million kilograms of rocket fuel if you want to fly to a different planet, or you could just buy the fuel for a cool $3 million per trip. Funny enough, it is actually $11 million cheaper to buy the rocket fuel to launch you into space than it is to buy Michael Jordan's massive house. Fortunately, No Man's Sky is more massive than Michael Jordan's house. But the game is almost too big for the people who created it. Usually, companies that make games will playtest it and try to find any bugs or glitches. Except for, you know, EA. They always seem to skip that part of game development. Anyways, the developers of No Man's Sky built automated space probes to search through the gaming universe to find glitches because the game is too big for any human testers to explore. Plus, the human testers might get a little lonely if they play the game for too long. If someone were to play the game hardcore for at least a year, the odds of you running into some other human player in the game is far less than 1%. Statistically speaking, the odds of any of the millions of No Man's Sky players running into someone else is very small. So even though this game is kind of multiplayer, there may be no human-to-human -human contact in the entire existence of the game. That kind of makes sense, because in our universe, we've been looking for signals from aliens for over 50 years, and have found Jack Squat. But, you know, we have found those weird sounds of Saturn, so, you know, that's a thing. If you were to play No Man's Sky and expect big giant dinosaurs to be roaming every planet, think again. Most of the planets in the game will be barren with no signs of life. This is realistic because only 1% of the planets that we have found in our galaxy are suitable for life. And so far, none have shown any signs of highly intelligent life, including Earth. The end goal of No Man's Sky is to find the center of the galaxy and travel there. But that might not be the best idea. You see, at the center of nearly every galaxy is a super massive black hole. These black holes are so massive that they can somewhat hold an entire galaxy together from its gravitational pull. But the closer you get to the center of the galaxy and the supermassive black hole, the harder it would be for you to, you know, live. If you were to travel to the exact center of the galaxy, you would have to travel through the outer linings of the black hole where temperatures can reach hundreds of millions of degrees Celsius. You would pretty much be flying into an area hotter than the core 
of the sun. If you somehow survived that, you would be flying past the event horizon of the black hole into a much colder area. Surprisingly, this is the part of the journey that you could actually survive because supermassive black holes won't spaghettify you right away. You might actually be able to fall into a black hole for seconds, minutes, maybe hours before you start to feel the effects of its intense gravity. As you make your way closer and closer to the center of the black hole, you will start to feel kind of good as you begin to get stretched out from head to toe. But then it will start to hurt as your body begins to get pulled apart into pieces. And then, well, you'll die long before you reach the center of the black hole. So when No Man's Sky says that the objective is to reach the center of the galaxy, that is probably just one giant way to troll everyone. Just like the cake that you were promised from GLaDOS in Portal. Yep, I'm still mad about that. No Man's Sky is literally the biggest game in history and yet, ironically, was made by just four people. You heard that right, the largest game in history is essentially a group science project. Although the team recently expanded to 13 people, it is quite amazing how such a small group can make such a cool and original game while it takes 500 people to copy and paste another game like this. I will be giving away a small PlayStation Store card to help you buy the game No Man's Sky. So remember to subscribe and leave a comment and you will randomly be entered into the giveaway. Leave a like too if you're super nice, but you totally don't have to. And thank you all very much for watching, remember to check out my other science videos if you like those, and remember that you are all very, very beautiful people, and I will see you guys next time.